Hi, welcome to A Washing. On today's video, we will be unboxing Salutove or the third Hokage and Shinade for fifth Hokage. And these are the Sumi Extra figure series. All right, let's start with the third Hokage. Let's assemble. There's two pegs on the base that attaches to the legs. For Shinar there, there's three points of contact with the base. Two of the pegs you can see on the stand, but then there's a third peg on her hand which connects to the hat. First, attach one leg and then align the hand and then start aligning the other leg. As you're doing so, one point might pop out, so you just have to do it slowly. And here we have the fifth Hokage, as well as the third Hokage. Man, so detailed. Let's start with the third Hokage. This amazing tie of the bandana that flows around from the back to the front. Held in place quite well. I do love the barrel expression, amazing details on the face, as well as the line work on the eyes. I do like his helmet with scratch marks on it, as well as on his arm. Then he has Emma that has transformed into the extendable star. I do love the gold finish. Next we have the netting around his arms and his legs. Looks like roof tiling. I do like each of the cracks and there's wear on the roof. Then on the side you see the chunk of it. I do like how this, the fire counter on his back then you have his accessory pouches. Definitely the third in all his power and glory. If you found this video useful so far, give it a like. All right, let's look at the fifth Hokage next. The like how just sort of balance on his point on the base. You can see that the nails are high detail painted. And then onto her face sculpt. I think they done a really amazing job of painting. Strength of 100 seal mark on her forehead. You capture the movement of the hair in the back as well. And then you can see the kanji for gamble on the back. I do how loud there's a mini katsuyu on her shoulders as well. Great details on her outfit with the different folds and the outlines. Onto her feet, also well detailed and it's painted as well. And then onto the ground where they have a dry brush finish to it. I do like how the pose is both beautiful and can be menacing at the same time. While the box for the third Hokage was quite big, they both turned out to be similar size. On the bottom of the base you have the name, Salut Tobe. On the bottom of this space, you have Shuna there. I think that these are both really well painted figures, really well made. These are definitely well worth a buy, especially when it's so hard to find figures of the Hokage. 